I'm me. I'm not their daughter. I'm not even Numa. I'm me. I think. Once I was a beautiful butterfly with wide and long wings. Browns and reds and greens oof, shaped my figure eight like a stained glass window. Especially when the sun shined through and I saw my first rainbow. Well, straight out of my cocoon, ready for the world to see my colors, you know, maybe hide me up a bit. I was still shading my wings when you noticed me. Damn, Black, let me get your number. Told me my stained glass wings were coveted by the Black man. And my doe eyes took in the wonder of your study. I smiled through it all, absorbing every hoot and holler until I became it. Switch your hips. Your ass will bounce more. Roll your shoulders back. That's your titties all sagging. Suck in your tummy. Let your shit all hanging out. Move your purse to the side away from the street. Let them get a better view. Look forward. So I don't notice you noticing them. A bit more down. That honk wasn't from a lover or even a friend. Glass pane by glass pane, they knocked out my windows till I couldn't see the rainbow anymore. Only the clouds showed my dark wings falling from the sky. I was the black butterfly and I took flight. Another time, I was this gorgeous duck. <sighs> Beautiful blends of brown filled my feathers. So clean and smooth, especially when the sun shined on it and you could see your reflection in my back. So every day, the other ducks would come down for their morning bath and gawk in my mirror. I didn't care. I was free, no ceiling on my horizon. As long as they stayed behind me, I could continue my flight of fancy. You see, when they saw me, they didn't see me. They saw themselves and that made them happy. Until one day, the sun didn't shine through the clouds. There was no reflection for them to see. And finally, they saw me. Me with my beautiful brown coat. Uh, my green beak, some yellow in my cheeks. I was the color of dirt, the green which made every living thing. And they wanted it, so they stole it. Suddenly, their beaks were green from rubbing them raw with grass and leaves. And their coats browner than usual, grimy from the sludge on the bottom of the pond floor. They looked like me, but they were ugly for a minute. Didn't take long until I realized that there were no fish left for me. And I was sleeping out in the open while they were in the trees. Why were they mistreating me? Had I not served them well? Had I not seen their own beauty in me? Gazing at the water below, I realized we looked nothing alike. So I gotta find my people. I am on a search for people who look like me. Give me some space to express my identity. I mean, people have been saying we're our own salvation. So I took my leave. It's time to find my community. And so I changed again in my own lane, writing and rewriting, losing, then discovering again, discovering myself, my own feelings. The feeling when you're flying above the trees. Oh, that's freedom. That's my freedom. I mean, shit, that's your freedom too. 
Freedom is the same to me as it is to you, because we are born with it. It lives deep inside us, like a little egg. Each crack making way for a big reveal. A new bird with freedom on its wings, ready to take flight.